Hmm. Yeah, that's how I start streams. I just clear my throat. Um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is going to be a short one. We're going to continue the compounding calendar. But it's going to be a short stream because I don't have this time. But I don't want to fall too far behind. I mean, I guess regardless, like over Christmas, I'll fall behind because <laughs> I'm going to be away for like a week. So I'll have to catch up. Hello, Subuniform. You're indeed Furt. Need to work on that English a bit more. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, so I probably got like an hour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, Alrighty, we've got an hour, maybe something like that. Let's see how many of these we can do. I think the next one is crossing the Cerulean Crystal Cave. The cave is dark, full of terrors, but thankfully your grandmother has let you borrow her trusty pair of teleport stones. So you don't have to actually go through any of that yourself. Assuming you can actually figure out how to teleport yourself at the end, that is. Use the arrow keys or WSD to move. Press X to repair your magic. When your magic is ready. <laughs> Okay, good, good. <laughs> Appreciate the uh, the hearts, the love hearts. <laughs> Can I send them back? Why must I click this? <laughs> I guess it just shows more. <laughs> um, here you go. Here you go. Um, use the arrow keys or SD to move. Press X to repair your magic. When your magic is ready, you can press direction key. To activate the teleport stone next to you or X to cancel. Okay, let's see how that goes. Full screen. This is by Pick 10. As nice as it can be to visit Grandma, it's always kind of a pain to get back. At least this year, she's letting me borrow her teleport stones. Navigating around mana crystals may be annoying, but it's better than the alternative. What's the, what's the alternative? Uh, okay, so it's high res puzzle script. So there's these stones. You suggest that I can like stand there and do something. Oh, okay. So I can teleport like over a stone. What if I am intersecting another stone? Oh, we swap with the things in the other position. Okay. Wait. So what is this stuff? This is wall. Are you suggesting there's some way? Ugh, what did that just- Whoa, I see. Whoa, is that This is a bit like uh, the knight, the meta knight one. Um, we're repositioning the teleport locations. Oh, this looks terrifying. And I gotta get all the way over there? What? I'm gonna be in the wall at some points. Or I make some kind of vehicle that I can use to walk around. I mean, so what happens if I am in the wall? It doesn't let me actually go. Hmm. It doesn't let me go. So what if, okay, what if you're up here? Oh, I should probably should have shared the stream. Uh, so that other people know about it and not just you, so beautiful. Uh, oh, I've closed Discord. Bring Discord back. <clears throat> Uh... Um, okay, back to it. Uh, yeah, so what happens if we teleport this? So I can look, look at this and just press X. No. Do I? Hmm. What are the rules here? I want I want you to teleport that. I guess you can't because it's the wall again. Pr probably it will teleport that if it's not against the wall. Like not trying to do it inside the wall. So like this. Yes, then it teleports over, and then you've extended in some horrific way. And I have to get all the way over there. 
I have to get all the way over there. How? That is not, that is not possible. <clears throat> Because like nothing can ever teleport in there, so the most distance I can ever get these two is well, these can be transferred oh, unless there's some like mm -hmm. like I'm scared that I'm missing a like so the effect of this is similar to the effect the other effect I did right. Yeah, stretching something out like that. And sure, I can stretch you away from there. And then I can stretch you further away from that. And then I can stretch you even further away from that. Okay, so that's how we do that. Okay. <clears throat> we can keep stretching like that. Oh, so eventually they hit the edge. Oh no, this is going to count as edge, isn't it? Oh, this is terrifying. I hope the machine that decides what you will eat becomes a real thing soon. That's going to be a thing? That's a machine that decides what you eat? Or do you have trouble deciding what you're going to eat? I don't have any water. <laughs> I tried to drink with my glass, but there's nothing in it. Um, however, I don't need a machine to decide that I do want water. Um, so maybe I should go get some water. Hmm. <clears throat> Sometimes it would be useful to have something that decides what, what to eat, but usually in 2022, wow, that's soon. I think usually I can come up with something. I, ju I just loop through the same things over and over. I just have like, oh, it'll make it, wow. Okay. I never should, yeah, I think, I think I would use that quite a lot, but I'd still occasionally make food for myself. Hmm. Isn't the future more likely to be nutritional, um, complete things? You know, the huels and all those things. Um, maybe. I don't know if that is actually the future. Maybe, maybe the like, distant future. I don't think it's now. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, I was gonna get I was gonna go get some water, wasn't I? Okay, be right back. Hello, hello. <clears throat> I am back. No one can expect what will happen in the future. Um, mm, true. Uh, okay, so I've basically made it impossible to extend the other way right now. Um, so extending the other way is like spinning these around each other and then doing like this. No, no, I, d I actually specifically don't want to spin them around each other. That extends you out that way. And I could keep doing that. And you keep extending further. Let me just find out what happens if I push this into this. Yep, it cancels a wall. And so this is possible? Ah, I guess I could do something weird where I can offset things from each other. Okay, so that's, hmm, no, actually I can't. I was gonna say let's spread these out, but I think I can spread them out. Can I? I can only shift them, I, I can only shift this relative to those. I can't shift those relative to each other. Well, unless, wait, what happens if we do this? Oh no, I can. Oh no, I can. No! 
<laughs> I'm supposed to solve this? Exactly, what is up with this game? Or do, sorry, do you want me to explain what's going on? Um, so there's these stones that have, like the big gray thing is a stone that I can push around. Um, and it's got these two positions next to it, which it will teleport things between if I look at the stone and press X. And, and then press the direction of the stone as well, again, after that. Well, I, just, I don't have to look at the stone, I just have to stand next to the stone, press X, and then press the direction of the stone. And that will teleport something from here to here. For example, this other grey stone over here, I can put there, look at this stone, teleport that stone over there, and it, it moved. Uh, my goal, as far as I can tell, appears to be to get over to this right-hand side. Um, somehow, using these teleporters. Now, the, the the interesting thing is that when I teleport a stone, or well, yeah, when I when I teleport one of these stones, it's like warp positions stay where they are. So now I've like affected where they are relative to the stone itself. I can like push them against a wall, and they'll also adjust like that. Um, uh, seemingly not. So if I put the thing there, and I do this, and I try to use the stone, I get a noise saying, nope, you're not allowed to do that. Um, <clears throat> so somehow, I've got to do some horrible things here. Uh, let's start by stretching that one out again. Um, so this is being stretched out. Let's do it again, one more time. Okay. Now I can use that. This isn't the way to do this, but like I could use that to like offset these, but then, but then what? Like sure, then I can do this. And that won't even work. So I've basically got it from this room. My actual goal from this room has to be to have two of one type of, of the like portal spots to be one over here and one over there. Hello, Lazugod. Um, I am confused that this can be possible. <laughs> this looks pretty complicated. Um, uh, so yeah, ultimately I need a thing in here and over there, and I need to be able to stand on it while looking at the thing, otherwise I'm not gonna end up over there. That is a lot. So I need to be able to, one of these needs to be adjacent to the stone while the other one needs to be in the other room. What? <laughs> uh, sure. Let's assume that makes any sense at all. Can we drag you back away from the wall? Yes. So we could, so say we could stretch you a bit further. We could stretch you a little bit further, like this. Well, what's this gonna do? Well, I guess that's stuck against the wall. So let's not do that, let's do this, which has stretched it a little bit further away. But I'm always gonna end up getting this stuck against the bottom if I'm doing some kind of offset like this. And then I somehow need to, what? Like, what, what do I do at that point? I mean, I guess if I could lift. They lift one of them upwards with one of them hitting this wall. And then bring it back. Okay, can I somehow offset these two downwards from this. How would that work? I'd have to like have rotated this one to be a vertical one. Is that doable? That doesn't sound doable. 
Or well, maybe it is doable. Can I, can I think teleport itself? Is that even, how would that even happen? Oh, I guess the other thing that I just learned afterwards is that I can also teleport the things themselves. Ah, so that's that's probably the, that's the way I. What's well, my favorite puzzle game from this year? Magic. Um, I mean, you're basically asking me what, what what did I nominate to the Thinky Games Thinky Awards, which we launched today or yesterday. Um, the days blur into one. Um, if you don't know about them, if you go to thinkyhomes.com, there's an article that is that we've opened the nominations for the Thinky Awards, um, where you can nominate your favorite games in a bunch of categories. Um, there's like 14 categories, I think. And one of them at the top is like basically game of the year. Um, I listed a few. I don't, um, I, it's, it's, I find it hard to pick favorites, but I listed a few. Uh, and I can't quite remember which ones now. Magic Cube was definitely one of them. Uh, Can of Wormholes was one of them. Um, Chance of Senna was one of them. I think I listed like five or six. Um, okay, what was I gonna do? I was gonna like try and rotate this one around itself somehow. That, what, really? How? I can basically shift that. Uh, I can now do weird things with this. Oh no, that's not the weird thing I meant to do. I meant to do, oh yeah, this. Now those two are both over there. <laughs> if that's useful. It almost feels like I'm making a shift happen, but I didn't want to do a shift with that. I want to do a shift with the other thing, but that actually, maybe this helps me do that shift because then I can do this. Uh. Wait, did that do anything? What did I just do? Which one of these was horizontal? Which one of them was not? This one was the horizontal one, yes. And I wanted to make that vertical, which is maybe beginning to happen. And I can use this to press these in. Oh, so yeah, okay. I want to know what happens if I to put that onto its. Oh, it can't because it swaps, of course. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's instead... Actually, the reason I wanted to make you vertical, I've like, I've, I've already got the benefits of that right now, which is that I can do this. <laughs> is that a benefit? <laughs> uh... I kind of feel right now that this is going to be one that I just can't solve. Unless something comes to me very suddenly. Um, so now I'd want to get you, like, what? I guess I'd want to swap those back again. Where is everything right now? Uh, okay. What am I even doing? Hold on. Now that's like that. Now. That's like that. I could do with getting these further apart, so maybe we do use those to get those like that, then get use these to get those like that. That is not what I meant to do. Those further apart. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> This is kind of terrifying. Has anybody solved this? The audio? Oh yeah, there's a bit of audio. Need a hint, you can also try one of the simpler versions of the puzzle. At the mobile friendly version. Okay, what does this one look like? Oh. 
Oof. I mean, even that feels terrifying. <laughs> I think because I'm pressed for time this evening, I'm gonna leave that one for now. I'm slightly scared by it. <laughs> Maybe there's a nice way of approaching it, but it's currently quite terrifying. Um, I mean, it does say here, the cave is dark and full of terrors, so I should expect it to be terrifying. Terrifying. Anyway, Forgotten Ritual by Nozomu. Nozomu? <clears throat> Acknowledge mistakes, find correct strokes, remember forgotten ritual. Oh, I think I played this like as in I like started this earlier and there was like audio, so I might Yeah there is. Yes there is, okay. So stop my music. Uh connect candles, sacrifice demons, try to recollect. Oh, sorry, re recollect. Okay. <laughs> Not recollect. Oh, okay. What, what, what am I doing? Am I hitting the thing? So it says 13 right now. Oh, and it's the 13th. That's why this game's on this day. Okay. What well, do I want to go through that? What's the... What's my... Do I want to hit the hands? Oh, that's where the hands come from. I think I'm supposed to be avoiding them, aren't I? Am I? <laughs> uh, what just happened? Acknowledge mistakes, find correct strokes. Tell, tell me again. Connect candles, connect candles, sacrifice demons. So you can go like this, I don't have to go along a straight line. But to sacrifice a demon. Oh no, no, yeah, that, that's bad, I see. That's getting more and more red. I want to stop it before it becomes completely red. But then how, how do I deal with you? I, I, haven't I lost? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I, okay, so I'm supposed to look at where the next one's going to be and use that to figure out where the best place to go to is. Well, I want to hit you and I can get there. I can get there, I can get there, I can get that. Oh gosh, there are two. Uh... I think I'm screwed. How? I can't get both of these. Ah! Is there any situation where I could have gotten both of those? I guess I would have had to get two of them in the previous turn. Interesting idea. Uh, uh, wait, is this the same every time? It is the same every time. Ah! I thought this was like procedural in some way. Okay, so let's do the same thing, even though it didn't work. So you're suggesting. Ideally, I should get rid of... What? Well, so you have to go next. I have no choice. There must have been a choice though. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Let's figure out how that can be solved. So I don't have to hit you now. I would have to hit you in the next turn though, and then I'd have to hit you in the next turn. So what does it benefit me? I mean, I guess I could be in a different position, and maybe that's useful. It feels not useful. Okay. But then I guess there are other places I could have gone. Could have gone this way. Mm, but then I'm stuck immediately. Yeah, okay. So I think at the beginning I have to go the path I went. Uh, Gustavo, what's your favorite game of the year? Favorite puzzle game of the year? What's everybody's favorite puzzle game of the year? What's everybody submitting as their top choice in the Thinky Awards? <clears throat> so at this point I could go this way and get both of these at the same time? Does a demo count? Sure. I mean, not for not for the Thinky Awards, but for this conversation, yes. <laughs> okay, so now I can get both of these. So I'm gonna have a choice after this. 
Or whether I do this, then that, or this, then that. It's going to depend on what the next one is, and there isn't a next one yet. Okay, well, I feel like I've made a good choice. I bet here I'm supposed to go somewhere else at seven. Islands of Insight, nice. So there is a, in the, um, in the Thinking Awards nominations, there's a, um, m like, most anticipated game or something like that. I can't remember what the category's called. Uh, I played the Islands of Insight uh, as a, like, in, in its, like, before the beta, before the open beta. Uh, but when I was playing it, it was literally me and the developer. <laughs> and that was it. Like, it didn't have the whole, like, everybody running around um, solving puzzles together. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have an issue with this, aren't I? Well, unless I go this way. So I can get both of those two. If I went to get that first, I'd never be able to get that. So let's get you. If I went to get you first, I'd never get this. So we've got to get you. I see what you've done to me, game. I see what you've done to me. Actually, no, no, no. This is fine, isn't it? We just do this and then that. Okay. Woo. Oh, they brought the goat back to life. Yay! Or the lamb. That was cool. That looks great as well. Cool, um, cool style and art and music and animations and stuff. Neat. There's a few people who works with it. Neat. That's not common for the companion calendar puzzles. I think kind of the things are usually just one person. But it's fun to see something that's made with by multiple people. You, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell it was made by multiple people. Uh, okay. Next. Self-portrait. Self with the S in the in square brackets. Simple single screen puzzle with colours from. Yep. Okay. I should probably update the description of my game before it goes out, because it's not it's a bit bare. Um Da, da, da. Okay, I see me and I see a character. I see the outline of me. Self portrait. Okay, I see. <laughs> this is cute. I like it. Uh, I clearly don't know everything, do I? I cannot make that shape. In fact, there's not even enough. Wait, what? Does it like. Does this work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven white pieces. I've got five. Maybe I use different colors than the actual thing, and therefore the background is the white. I could believe that. Although no, none of the none of the colors are made of these shapes. Although no, no. Okay, is there some way of splitting? No. I, I can do the top bit. That's the right color. It's interesting that I overlap, like the top of my hat overlaps the cell above me. It's a good thing you didn't need a hand. <laughs> is that a joke about the demon hands? Um, okay. What's the trick here? There's going to be something. Does X do something? There's also... Why is the S in brackets? Why is the S? Nothing. I moved it out, of course. Uh, yeah, I can't make any of these shapes with these. So what can I do? What can I do? Uh, like maybe it doesn't matter what colors I put in. <laughs> I mean, it surely will, but okay, let's just put them all in. See if something happens. 
And maybe it's just a simple, maybe it's just a packing puzzle of some sort. Oh, oops. There we go. Wait, what just happened then? Ah, they can overlap each other. Okay. Okay. Uh, so which ones can overlap which? So is it just black and white that can overlap? Okay, and then grey cannot. With either of them? No, okay. Cool. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, oh gosh, what have I done? Wait, what's happened there? Whoa, what's happened? Grey. The gray isn't gray. The gray is actually a black and a white overlapped on top of each other. Ah, okay. Okay. So that's why that couldn't be inserted over the gray because it was already two things. Oh no. Oh no. So these are the blocks I've actually got to work with. <clears throat> that's cool. I like it. Um, it looks to me like I might want this plus this plus, no, not this, this is slightly wrong. Maybe that there, then this. No. Hold on, maybe I had it right. Ah, uh, like this. And this. No. Okay, how do I put the black shapes in that shape? So now it is just a packing puzzle. Just where the grays and the blacks are, I need to pack these in. Uh, Like this, no, like this, there we go, there we go. Now I gotta hope that, I, oh gosh, that's two separate pieces. But I hope that I can push these over that to make the right things, which should be fine. I might need to pull this away, insert this there. And this. This one here. This was very cool. I like the realization. I like that it just felt like, what? This is, there's nothing I can do here. <laughs> and suddenly everything came together. Yay, looking good. Nice. Very neat. Short and snappy. And creative and fun. Neat. Okay, now this is terrifying. <clears throat> this is the developer of uh, Squishcraft with typically squ Squishcraft artwork. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I realized I didn't bring the music back, but I guess maybe this has sound, so we'll see. Um, left click, place conveyor belt. Hold shift, to place multiple. Left click to drag objects. Right click to delete belts, okay. Equations work horizontally, vertically, and backwards, okay. Not diagonally. Do you mean backwards, horizontally, and vertically? Probably, maybe. Belts move numbers. My best cycles are 93. What are we gonna be doing? Yep, oh no, Squishcraft, which I still haven't played. I've seen little bits of it, but only in the very beginning. Uh, it has music. So I can drag things around. What were you saying about like, oh, so I can, oh, okay, I can place belts, shift, okay, then I can drag many. Output nine. Wait, so the numbers begin like this. I can press play. If I stop it, can I do stuff like stop? No, I have to press restart. Okay, so it's like set up and play. Output nine. Zero out of 33, what? Okay, wait, there's an there's a out nine here. Uh, 
Okay, so I have a three and a one. Like, wh so what happened then when I press play? Okay, so the equation happens. Got it. Um, I'll put nine. I've only got multiply and divide. So the only thing that can do anything useful here is making a third. I mean, what's, what happens in that case? Oh wait, I can just drag the number. Wait, oh, okay. Okay, so I can easily find out what happens. Oh no. <laughs> okay, understood. Uh, so to get nine, I do that and then get the threes over there, e easy. Clearly it's not gonna be easy. Uh, no, not to there, to there. Uh, I haven't left a path to get back, but let me just check that this does end up making a nine. Yeah. Oh, no, I have left a path. There's got to be more to this. Well, maybe not. What's the zero out of 33? Oh, there's a three in the way. How do I get rid of that? Can I, um, can I just, oh, I just get, oh, wait, what? Okay, so I can just do that. What's the delete for? There's definitely more to this. Is there like another equation I have to do afterwards? Output nine. Oh, I have to output 33 nines. No. <laughs> Oh gosh, what? Okay. Well, so I end up with another three. So, okay. So ending up with threes is good. I end up with lots of threes if I do one divided by three. How do I get back to a one by doing a one divided by one? Sorry, a three divided by three. Oh no, okay, okay. Of course I can move all these things around though, so we can do this wherever we like. Oh, but I can also do different... <sighs> oh no, this, like, this means I've got so many things I could do, maybe. Maybe? Let's try and do this the simple, simple way, which would be, as I did before, take the three. Wait, where, where's the first three? Not there. There's a... Wait, so I can make different decimal numbers as well. This is disgusting. This is actually disgusting. What did I expect? What did I expect? Well, this isn't good, is it? Why did I do that? There's a three there, so I can use that one. Oh, I keep doing that. I think I've got to move it onto the operator. Okay, there's the nine. And then I want... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I want a three to go... Well, what do I want? I want? Three to go here, and another three to go here. And we'll end up with a one. But then, how do I make that go? Oh, but that's uh, uh, sure. Okay, but because that's there, it's not going to output anything. I guess that's how that works. I can obviously move things further away as well. We can have things less, less packed in. Don't need those. <clears throat> There's a delete thing. So that's for deleting all this rubbish, but how do I ever... How do I ever do like... Because whatever's here is 
Yeah, that, well, that's why the... That's the one. Like, there's a zero there. I don't want to use that zero. But I don't have conditionals or whatever. I can't say, oh, if this is less than this, go this way. I obviously get rid of that. It's gone. Then we get one. Then we get that. Okay. This is terrifying. Maybe doing the 0.33 thing is bad. Although, what else would I do? Like I said at the start, there's not that many more operations I could do. Maybe I should do that times three, because that's like recurring. But if I times it by three, because it's not actually recurring, I guess I'll end up with nines. So in fact, yeah, well, mm, I can't really do that though, can I? Because I don't have... I'm actually kind of curious if I can do that though. I mean, not really. Not really, right? Maybe you end up making a thing that's like, you can imagine a situation where there's like a conveyor belt and the, oh, what's even happening there? Why is nothing moving? Can you not move operators? Maybe you can't move operators. Okay. I was thinking like you could make an equation that's like the operators changing over and over again. Um, okay, what? I don't know, maybe I just have to get to 33 nines? So if I just put the delete here, yeah, okay, that just deletes the thing that pops up. Oh, so that means I could in theory do, well, not really. I assume this is an operator, it won't just move on conveyor belts. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but I could put this down. And this. And then delete. <laughs> huh. Oh, it stops there. Huh. It stops there. Interesting. Is that the case if I put the... No, if I put the delete there, it doesn't. It just deletes out the middle. Okay. That is very interesting. That's weird that I didn't get the point in that case. I guess because it can't fit? As in it can't like... Maybe it does the calculation based on the amount of space available? Like it rounds because there's no space for the decimal places and therefore it doesn't put the decimal point in. So maybe I just want to get rid of that, but okay, no. This looks like a nightmare. Got nine. <laughs> but I'm also losing loads of threes in that process. But in theory, I could like bring this over. That would still work from a different position, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I've got other threes here. So if I can turn that into a factory that just like outputs nines. Easy. <laughs> problem, the problem is that I've got no one left. How do I get a one back? Again, like I said, divide three by three. But then whatever lands here. Oh, oh, equations work upwards, upwards and downwards. Yes, okay, I forgot about that. Okay. So, oh, gosh, so these two equations are going to have to overlap with each other, aren't they? Because I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want two, okay. I'm going to want two divides to happen. So this is going to go over here.
And so there's gonna be some threes. A three is gonna come around and go here to be a different equation involving another three. And I get the one back. Then the one can go back up here. How am I gonna get a three there now though? They're gonna to have to go around the outside. So it's gonna to have to be this, this, this is cool. Okay, and then that equation's back. However, it's not gonna do anything because these are here. But I could just delete them. I can only delete one of them. Uh, but I could do this. Okay. I have a factory. At least I have a loop. <clears throat> and that's going to keep producing. Okay, so we're, 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 we've got a working thing here, right? Uh, like this. Out. Oh, no, 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 because it can't be here. It has to be over here. Somehow. <laughs> So hold on, the one gets generated there. Okay, hold on. Well, it said they work backwards. So maybe we just do this. Then. Wait, where's my one go? My one is there. Is that it? I've got an extra thing over here. Yes, a th yeah, nine's happening. I think, yay, two out of 33, woohoo, speed. I did it, I'm in a nine factory. And hopefully it's happy with it just getting to 33. Hey, so mine was 493 cycles and apparently the developer got 93. <laughs> Wow. What did other people get? Uh, 398. What did I get? 493? Something like that. 652. 61. Let's have a look. So what happens here? So yeah, 1 divided by 3. Yeah, the zero and the the dot get deleted. A bunch of threes go. Oh, oh, I see. You're just doing like you're ending with a big nine 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 number and just shifting them all in. Got it. Nice, nice. Thirty three nines of uptime, indeed. I guarantee thirty three nines of uptime. And if you don't get that, I'll give you credits. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, what time is it? Shall we? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. multi -maids. Oh, it's a Godot game. Or Godot. Or Godot. <clears throat> move with arrows. Okay. It's not moving. Do I have to focus? Yeah. Teleport with space the other place. Oh, we're solving two puzzles at the same time. Two so mazes at the same time, I guess. So what happens if I teleport into a wall? It teleports me out. Okay. Okay, this is like... This is like... Where is it? I mean, it's not quite like it, but it's a bit like it. Where is it? Uh... Oh. Like this puzzle. It's a Hanayama puzzle. Um, it's a. Uh, it's got a. It's got two rings interlocked with each other, and there's a maze on this side, and there's a maze on the other side. Sorry, it's focused on my face, not on the thing. I don't have an auto focus on. Uh, but there's a maze on both sides of one of the rings, and the other ring has like two little in this 
gap in this gap here as two little sticky outfits um, that you have to navigate through both mazes at the same time. It's a bit like that, sort of. <laughs> it's, not, it's not quite like that, but it's like solving two mazes simultaneously. There you go. Hanayama puzzle. Okay, so ultimately I want to end up in there, which means ending up in here or here, which means end up here, which means ending up in hold on i want to get into that space from the other one but where is the other one where that one isn't no they, they, those two overlap entirely it's like that space and that space so we think about that again so here to get into this I have to be here mm-hmm Then, hold on, but that goes up. Oh yeah, so does that. But yeah, then these overlap fully. Or is there a, are, there, are there different distances there? That looks like the same distance as that, I'm pretty sure. Ah, this bit overlaps with that bit. Of course, right. So we're gonna end up in this bit, which means this bit over here should we just aim for the E? We'll aim for this E. Uh, okay. How do I get there? I think by getting into that bit, hold on, hold on. Okay, so uh, this is interesting. I think I gotta end up over here. Ah. Oof, this is tricky. Okay, so you can get stuck in the wall. Whoa, this is tricky. Uh, okay. This is going to teleport there. This is going to teleport back. So this area is useless for teleporting anywhere interesting in the left one. I want to get somewhere interesting in the left one. Isn't that just, I just want to end up here then, down this way. Boom, that is more interesting. And then this is also more interesting. And then this is not more interesting, but maybe this is. And then being over here might be. And that's the same, all of this is the same, but then there's this, which could let me get over to, to that, which could let me get over to that, and then to this. And then this lets me get into the E, so now from the E, I get a hit here, and to here, and then to here. I escaped. 423. Nice. <laughs> how, how long does it take most people the first time? That's cool. It's a nice little idea. <clears throat> it's fun to solve. And yeah, it's a bit like this. Alrighty, well that went quick, uh, in which case maybe if this one's quick as well, we might get through them both and be caught up again. Close yet far away, Zeb. Zeb's been in the chat a few times, I wonder if Zeb's around. Close yet far away. Uh, little tortured soul, at last the door to redemption is before you. Your trials and tribulations end here. You know what? Have one more for the road. Okay, so there's a door there that I'm trying to get to. Is this a lever or something, or just a box? Okay, so it just fills in the hole. What's this do? That is like a button or whoa, there's lots of sound effects there. So I'm pushing this. I see there's all these things that have different shapes on them. Well, not all of them actually, those two are the same. Oh, they're like dice. One, two, three, four. So hold on. Wait, oh, so oh, there's a checkpoint there. That's what that sound was. Let me start again, actually. Okay. So at the beginning, I had a one, I guess. A one, but with like the 
two white bits there as, as well. And that two has a white bit there, which is curious. Okay, anyway, so the one, two, and two falls down. That's my checkpoint, okay. There's another two there. I'm gonna hit that checkpoint a lot. Um, one, two. Do they move together or something? No. Why does it matter? One, one. So this has to open somehow. Do I have to push them in order? Somehow? One. Oh, I've got that one stuck, haven't I? One. It's still stuck. Uh, yeah, but what's with the grey around the one? Hmm. What was if I do the twos and then the one? Nope. Well, so at the beginning as well, there was there were there's a one already in and a two already in. So maybe it's one, two, one, two. Isn't that what I already did though? One, two, one, two. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, is there another move I can make here? I don't want to get you stuck, I think. There's nothing else I can do here, as far as I can tell. That has to go there. I can't walk over the hole. Can't push the two in yet, I don't think. Space here, can't push the two in yet. If I push the one that way, the one's now basically stuck. Unless I get the two out of the way, but I can't get the two out of the way. So, uh, I must not understand the goal. What is the goal here? I already tried doing the twos first, right? Well, okay. Maybe if you push them into each other, they do something? No. Okay, let's play the beginning bit again and try to understand the rule. Oh, a circular style pairing game. Maybe I should read that. Pairing game. Okay. So, are these paired because they they can see each other? So maybe the goal is just to position them in such a way. Ah, okay, so push the two in. And then these can go here. And push this on here. Oop. Okay. We also have bigger numbers over here. Can we figure it out from this? There are two twos, there are two threes. There are two fours. So yeah, so there's always an even number of each number. Is it to do with, oh, they're one away from, oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. One away from each other, two away from each other. So yeah, okay, that makes sense with this shape. So to do the two away from each other, it would be not that. Uh, basically one of the twos is gonna be there, and the ones is gonna be there. You're gonna be there, you're gonna be there. Got it, nice, cool, that was fun to figure out. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> so it's probably like a specific arrangement of this that's going to work. There are three. Oh, there's not always an even number of um, things. So the ones need to be one away from each other. Threes need to be three away from each other. So how's that going to work? Four threes, three away from each other. It's probably two separate pairs then. Yeah, so one one of those, that's gonna be a three. One, two, three, that's gonna be a three. Okay, three, three. And then here it could be either this and that or this and that. Okay. Um, does that tell me anything about what this is gonna be? If it were a one, then it'd be a one here. If it were a two, there'd be a two here. I think that would actually be good. So three, three, two, two, one, one.
three, three, no, no, three, three, two, um, three, three. I might actually need to write this down. <clears throat> I've got my whiteboard. Where's my whiteboard eraser? There it is. Okay. I don't remember what any of these are notes for. Okay. <clears throat> so it's a shape like this. It goes up two there. Goes down three there. Goes across four. Okay. So I think it's going to be three in the left space, this one, and three here. Then for the twos, because there are four twos, I definitely don't want it to be in the middle. So it's also going to be at the side. To get the twos into this place. Ooh, actually, to get the twos into this place. Yeah, I want there and there. That makes sense. So then that will be a one, and that will be a one. That one and that one. Then the next one will either have to go there or there. So depending on that, if it were there, we can't do the next three and two. If it were there, we can do a three here and a two there. Okay, that's what it is. So one goes below in this position and then Three, one, two, three to there, and then two. Yep, okay. That's fun. Uh, all right. So that means three, three, one. Uh, can I do any of the twos right now without getting them stuck? No, I have to go around the other side. So which one can I do for that? A three there. A two there. A one here. A three there. Another one there. And then the rest twos. All good? Hey, neat. Okay, now this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use my whiteboard again. Uh, so we have a shape that's like this. It's like three, and then a single, and then three, and then a single. And it's that four times. One, two, three. Yeah. Da. <clears throat> I mean, maybe I should do this in Photoshop. And then everybody can watch. Let's do that. Uh, which screen are you going to pop, pop up on? That one. Okay. Cool. Um, Take a screenshot. Do, 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 do. Come on, first shot, you're gonna work, okay. <clears throat> so let's put you over there and let's grab that. Where's a uh, only slightly. I've got the final bit to do, <laughs> and you can you can watch it back. I was I did ask at the beginning is, is Zeb around because I knew you'd been around in chat a couple of times. Um, uh, about to do the last one. Alrighty. Uh, so I did the the previous two on my whiteboard. Well, previous one on my whiteboard. Um, I'm gonna do these. Okay, so the, the, the other thing here though is that there are also constraints about where these can move to because like at the beginning, I can only push like a one into one of these positions, but then later on, I could potentially push more of them, but I never wanna push any of them against the edge. So it looks to me, mm, no, this, yeah, there's a lot of, 
lot of choice here, right? Because I could push this one up, and then this one up, and then go and push this three in if I wanted to. So I think I need to, I think the best thing is to find some constraints. Although on the ones going to have to go in these positions. Is that true? I think that's true. Because I can't, well, not necessarily that one, because I could push the four out of the way. Mm, but then I could also go around this in two different directions. Ooh, spooky. But until I cross the gap, I mean, I could cross the gap early, although I can't, can I? Well, actually, let's let me test. Let's go over here. If I were to go over here and then go around this three, mm, well, that can only ever go there. I don't think I could like try and cross, but actually I'm quite limited. Mm, but I wouldn't be if I had, oh gosh, this is very open, isn't it? If I'd done that, I could do this, and then I could do this. I could bring this up and push it across there. Uh-oh. Okay, so maybe my best action is to actually find out some constraints about where these must be. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones. Um, all of these are going in, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, twelve. One, two, three... Well, okay, so it's four, 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 and then four like that. Okay, <clears throat> so it also is 12. In fact, they have to go in because otherwise the door won't open. Uh, I forgot the actual purpose. Um, there are two fours, there are two threes, there are two twos, and then the rest are ones. Okay, so the ones being at the edges makes, the, makes a lot of sense because a two being at the edge, in fact, in fact, that, that, that has to be the case, right? Because um, a two at the edge could never... I mean, a, th a three at the edge could work. Like a three here could have its three pair up there. That would be three away. The two and the four couldn't work. However, it's unlikely to be like that because then there might not be space for the ones to go, maybe. Is this, mo is this most likely to actually just be like, wait, how many ones are there? Is it 10? Yes. So these could all be ones, and then where, does, where would the last ones go? Like, what if I what if I did just do the, what feels like the simple thing, and like, go around the outside with those? Because then they're all paired up really nicely. Where would the last one go? Um, the last two, I mean. I mean, like here and then. Oh, I've blocked myself in. No, I haven't. Actually, no, I haven't. I mean, that doesn't help. Hold on. Push that down. Okay, and then. I feel like it's possible to make this work, right? With these. We've got an exclamation mark shape. Four. One, two, three, four. Four. Two, three, four, four. Is it possible? I'm actually not sure. How can I work it out? I'm sort of going to just do it. So it would be, is it there? Eh, that's stuck. Oh, oh, so I can only get one there if I first push one into that space. So what do I want that to be? Hmm, yeah, this is not going to come together, is it? Three. You have to get that three there. But there, where are the twos going? Yeah, this isn't working. Four and the four are matched up. Uh, the three would have to go there, and one the, the twos are going next to each other. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I think maybe having ones in the 
I mean, some of the ones have to go in the middle, right? Well, only if I'm... Yeah, yeah, yes. Some of the ones... Yeah, some of the ones have to go in the middle. For sure. But then they could have been elsewhere. They could have been like there and there. So I think that's what I should work out. I think what I should work out is like, if I've got these all filled in, not an exclamation mark, just this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do I put all these in? Maybe? Two ones, two twos, two threes, and two fours. Maybe. Unless I'm being tricked, which I might be. That's kind of scary. How do I do this? Maybe I should just draw them on. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so we're only focusing on this area. And we've got two ones, two twos, two threes, and two fours. Let's start with the ones. Let's just put them in. Well, actually, no, let's start with the fours. So four is going to go like there. One, and I guess this, this, this is like vertically symmetric as well. So one, two, three, four, here. Or there and there, uh, there and there. So can I prove e either of those incorrect? So in this situation, if we were to do a one and a one, what does that do for the three and the two? It means it's impossible, right? Two is doable, but the three then isn't, okay. <clears throat> and let me just double check this situation again. So four and four, one, two, that's not four and four, four and four. Wait, in fact, that was wrong there, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, there. No, it wasn't wrong, okay. Um, one and one, three and three. No, I end up leaving that tiny gap. One and one? No, because I'm at this. Interesting, yeah. So the ones are always going to leave another one. One, two, three, four. Like not space, not space for the three. The ones are always going to leave, like if I stick them between the fours, they're going to always leave a another even gap. But we don't have any more even numbers. We've used the one and the fours to... Wait, sorry, <laughs> don't have any more even numbers. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> this is a one, it's two, but it's one gap. So it's, we, don't, we, we don't have any odd numbers, but we do have an odd number, we have the three. So the three could go there and there. Wait, that works, isn't it? Two, two, that works. Okay, in for that. One, three, One, two, four, three, two. Yay! <laughs> I am glad it didn't involve any trickery of like putting the numbers over on the other side. It could have done, uh, and it would have been terrifying. Okay, full screen for the finish. Uh, Hey, don't hesitate now. Go, shoo. I have a hunch that I shall see you again soon. Are we going to continue this story in the next Confounding Calendar? Thanks for playing. Nice, that was cool. That was fun. I liked the... It was effectively a, like a pen and paper puzzle, but with pushing the blocks into position. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fun. It's neat. Reminded me a little bit of like Tapper Band by Menderberg. I think it'd be fun to like find, because the block pushing was mostly just about, um, I mean, it was entirely just about like, okay, I just gotta push the thing to the right place. Um, 
I, I can't quite remember what, oh no, I sort of remember what Tapper Band did, but like there were some interesting things it did with the pushing. Could be, I don't know if you've played Tapper Band, but um, could be a good reference. There you go. Uh, for ways to extend what you were doing. Tap up on. Uh, it needs four around it. Uh, so where is that? That is. Oh, it needs no. It needs four consecutive, and no others. So here, hey. Anyway. <laughs> Cool, I'm caught up again with the confounding calendar. Um, I'm away tomorrow. I will not be online much at all tomorrow. Um, everybody should go to thinkygames.com uh, and go check out this article that I put out last night. Um, basically just asking for nominations for the Thinky Awards, that, which we're gonna do. Um, there's a form, you have to sign in to use it um, so that you can like edit your answers afterwards if needed or, or add to them or whatever without like double voting for stuff. Um, there's a form, there's, that's not true anymore. There's 14 categories, but who cares? It's close enough. Um, and you can nominate games and then there'll be uh, a jury that will select uh well, well we'll vote on the games that were nominated uh and we'll i don't know we'll 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 have a chance to celebrate some cool games that came out in the last year which is the whole point woohoo 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 um <laughs> I did all of this, like, I did all of the, like, there's, there's been lots of talking about this for a while um, and how to structure it and stuff, but I did all the, like, writing the article and the, and the form and stuff yesterday, and I'm tired. <laughs> but I wanted to get it done because uh, otherwise, like, Christmas is coming up and then it would be, be more difficult to do stuff and then it'd be the next year and then it'd be like middle of the year before we see any results from it uh so yeah I'm trying to get ahead um anyway yeah cool if, like if anybody has any uh things they'd want to nominate um make sure to go do it uh the more nominations we have the easier it is for us to <sighs> form the categories properly because there's a little bit of like um like we've got sort of got to kind of look at what the nominations are and how spread out they are and if like are there two categories that are basically the same should we should we like change them in some way or combine them or whatever um all that kind of stuff um but the more nominations there are, the easier it is for us to kind of see what the spread is and uh, which also like which games are probably the best fit for certain categories um, because not that, so that's not to say if a game gets loads and loads and loads of nominations, that somehow makes it more likely to win in the category. That's not how it's going to work at all. This is just to help us figure out like which game should be in which categories. Um, and so, yeah, the more data we have, the more able we are to do that. So please go check that out. Uh, sorry, Zeb, you were saying, I think I can make a paper, paper and pen game similar to Sudoku or Kakuro. Which one's Kakuro? Uh, can I play it on post link? <clears throat> uh, I can. 
Let's have a look. There are cats at the top of this page. Uh, is that the link to play it on Puzzling? There we go. Um, hmm. Help rules. Place the number between one and nine into every empty cell. A clue on the bottom of a cell indicates the sum of numbers below the clue. Of the next clue, a clue to the right of the cell indicates the sum to the right of the clue. Of the... Okay, digit may not be repeated in the horizontal and vertical random cells. Okay. So what n numbers one to nine, and the numbers say what they add up to, and you can't repeat. Okay. <coughs> These are, can I note like, uh, can, I, can I want to say that could be a one or a three? Wait, is it, wait, is it one to nine? Oh, sorry, actually, uh, yeah, that's a one and a three. That's a three, so there also one of these is a two. Ugh, nope, I mean, I'm not that like, up to speed with all the paper puzzle types. Like I know some of them. I know Slitherlink. I know uh, Hashi. I know Curve Data and Statue Park, Sudoku, Tapper. I know, and I know some of them, but not by name. Like I've done them, but I never really knew what it was called. Like I've definitely seen some of the others as well. And oh, and Star Battle. Are any of the like the ones in, like created by uh, folks in the Thinky Puzzle Discord on Puzzlink? Like uh, Ponky made the one that was like Subway or something. That was cool. I don't think it's here, no. Um, I know people like to combine them as well. Uh, okay, is that, do I have a way of no, like doing notation on here? Oh, auxiliary mark, so there must be some way. Input mode, number, number rev. Auto. Uh, How do I help? How do I make notes? <laughs> How do I make notes? If I keep clicking through, what happens? Nothing. Okay. Um, well, okay. So actually, I can solve this anyway without the notes. So that's a two, that's a one, that's a three. Um, Oh, there's going to be stuff to do with like, oh, in order to get to such a high number, you need to necessarily have, like to get to 35 with five numbers. Let's say we did like nine, eight, nine plus eight, 17, plus seven, 24, plus six, 30, Oh, so in fact, that has to be nine, but not in these positions, right? And the same over there. Got it. Uh, and was the rule that it had to be... Did you make it in a horizontal vertical run of cells? A run. What counts as a run? Can I repeat? Yes, you can repeat after a wall. Okay. This is a 34, which implies that there's a big number down here. It implies the nine has to be down here, doesn't it? Because if we don't have the nine in this, then we have eight, seven, six, five, four, which is considerably less. So the nine has to be here, right? And it's just the it's just the bottom, the lower number that's gonna to have to drop, right? So the um the five was it? Yeah. 
We'll have to be a four in this one, I think. I've probably made a mistake already. Oh, and this is a seven, so this is either a six or a five up here. And then that's a one or a two. Um, it's a 10, it's 11. Was I correct about that? I'm not totally sure. Wait, so something happened there. What was that? Oh, if I click in the corner. Aha, that's how I do it. Got it. Was, am I right about this? I think I am. Nine, eight. If I lost, if I lost the nine, I'd be swapping it with a different. Yeah, it has the nine has to be here. Okay. I love how we're just doing this now. Why not? Uh, six. So this has to be one, two, and three. But we know there's a three there, so the three has to be here or here. Um, there can't be a one here. Right, because I can't make the 12 if it's a one, because I can only make 10 at most there. So what does that mean? Sorry, uh, can't be the one. Three has to go here. It's not gonna be. Could it be the two? It could be the two there and then the three there, right? And then the one here. Yeah, that's still an option. Although two plus nine also doesn't work. So no, that has to, has to be the three. Okay, um, so that's not the three. Uh, that's, yeah, so, yeah, obviously. Neither of those are threes. Uh, one and the two need to go here though. So with a two, nine plus eight, yeah, I could easily get to the thing. <clears throat> ah, 35 again. We see another 35 with five cells. Uh, So we know the top five numbers are all here. I'm not sure I can say where each of them would be. Well, this one would have to be five. And then we need a three, Sorry, a one, and a, a one, a one, and a two. In those, one, oh, hold on, let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Maybe this should just be a thing. Relaxing uh, pen and paper puzzle streams. <laughs> I'll uh, invade uh, Cracking the Cryptic's territory. Going to take over the pen and paper puzzle streaming space. Watch out. Okay, so I'm curious, if there's a one here, can I actually get to 20? Oh, sure I can, of course I can. It's easy. Um, <clears throat> what else can I work out? I was working down, wait, hold on, I've got a thing I can finish here. <laughs> Why don't we do that? Uh, nine. See, I'm not very well practiced at these things, I don't even notice that. Uh, so that's nine, then what's remaining there is 12, which means eight and four, or I guess the way you'd write that is like this, or, but then it could be four and eight, less than seven and five, and then six and well it can't be six and six so that it's just the other two waves around five and seven and four and eight okay uh 
what was the thing here? It was like, we've got one and two, or two and one. Uh, and we do know that this is going to be like one of uh, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, six, no, 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 six, seven, eight, or nine. So maybe this is resolvable now, actually. Is it? Probably not. If this were a nine and that were a seven, it'd be two, well, nine and seven plus the two, yeah, that would work. I don't think I know enough in that space. Uh, how do I get rid of, there we go. Uh, I mean, I could put all these numbers in all of these as well, which it probably would do if I was being sensible. Wait, there's a 16 here. That has to be a 9 and 7, right? Okay. 9, 7, 7, 9. Okay. 23. So with a, with a 7, how much is left over? Too much, right? 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8 plus 9. It's actually too much. So it'd have to be seven plus eight plus six, but that's too little. So this has to be the nine. Nine, seven. Knock out bigger numbers with fewer squares first. Um, yeah, that probably makes sense. Like the tiny ones where it's like two squares, kind of like I just did here. Uh, so that means if that's a nine, we've got 14 left. What are the ways of making 14? Um, eight and six. Quite a few things, I think. What about 17 with two? That would be... Um, wait, that has to be nine, nine and eight. Nine and eight, but which way round? How high can I get here? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's probably going to involve the nine and the eight. Nine, eight. Yeah, it was 30. So th this is going to be, again, nine, eight, seven, six. Um, okay, but this is 16, this is 17. So what's going to happen here then is... One of these is going to be 9, one of them is going to be 8. And then if this were 9, this would have to be 8. 9, 8, 8, 8. It can't be. So that has to be the 9. 9, 7, 8, 9. I think so. This takes me to 16, 12 remaining in three. But an eight can be part of that, so that's easily doable. Uh, or nine and eight, 17, 13 and two. Oh yeah, I mean, I know which ones these have to be. These have to be seven and six. If we did have a seven, this would have to be four, which it could be. Six, it'd have to be five, which it could be. Um, this probably looks like an absolute noob doing this. <laughs> I know how it looks like when you see someone who's doing it for the first time. It's just like struggling to make basic realizations. I don't actually have time to do this. <laughs> I don't have time to do this. I'm not actually going to do this whole thing. Um, in fact, I might as well stop here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I learned what the rules were. <laughs> That's all that matters.
Did I make any mistakes so far? Are there any mistakes here, Zeb, that you can see? Or am I all good? Oh yeah, there's another four here, which is two, so that's another one and three. Uh, anyway, anyway, Ooh, did not mean to add that. I cannot continue. I gotta go start some other stuff, and then yeah, I'm not gonna be around tomorrow. So certainly no stream tomorrow, but also probably just not around in Discord either. Um, so I'll look forward to seeing what games come out tomorrow, the day after, I guess. That would be Friday? That should be doable. You can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the kind of thing where I get to the end and be like, oh no, I've made a mistake. All right, folks, I'm heading off. Zeb's about to sleep. I'm going to sleep in about an hour or so. It's a good time to go sleep, I think. I need it. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for watching. I'm glad I caught up, although I guess I didn't finish one today. I skipped over one. Maybe we'll go back to them. But every confounding gander, I've always ended up skipping a bunch of puzzles, so it's going to happen. Uh, and I have Laslo's to go finish as well at some point, which I am actually interested in going back to because I think I was really close to the answer. Um, so we'll do that at some point. Alrighty, uh, see you next time, folks. Goodbye.